friends i welcome you all to this interactive quiz this quiz is based on the content we covered in today's class i will assign the questions to different polytechnics you can try to answer those questions but you can pick up you can pick your own question now we have i will share the quiz screen just wait a minute Yes, what you are seeing on your screen is the quiz window. You have the eight questions, number one to eight, on the main window. In addition, you have two more questions at the bottom. You can pick any of the questions, and I will show whatever whatever question you have selected. I request CPC Mysore to pick up your question. You can see you have got all the questions on board. One to eight. You can pick any question. This is chat window. So you have gone for two. This is the question number two. Be ready. When the question comes, you can also notice that the timer will start at the right bottom corner. We have got one minute to answer the question, but you can answer be earlier than that. Ready? Here comes your question. Which of these which of these cause the greenhouse effect excess of nitrogen in the atmosphere excess of carbon dioxide excess of cooking fires yes that was that was one of the the easiest one you are right the excess of the carbon dioxide causes the greenhouse the effect Question number two is gone, but all the remaining questions are there on the screen. I request GPT Chennapatna to pick up your question. You can use the chat window to select the question number. All questions are there except question number two. You are going for question number three. Be ready. Here is your question. Which of the following is not a major greenhouse gas? At this go at the surface level. Sir, the question is not said this ozone sees water vapor. Sir, sir. sir. You go for it is not showing the question. Option sir. <laughs> we'll go for the A, B, C or D. It's time. The right answer is the ozone. At the surface level, the carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Even water vapor, even methane are greenhouse gases except ozone. Now, question number one, two, and three are gone. I request the Tipu Shahid Polytechnic to pick up your question. You can select your question number through chat window. Okay. Tipu Shahid has gone for question number eight, the very last one. Yes, here comes your question. Which of the following is not a method for water conservation? Please remember the, the word conservation. Rainwater harvesting, groundwater extraction, improving irrigation efficiency, avoiding water wastage. Which is not a method of rainwater conservation. Not 
not able to see the question, sir. You are not able to see the question, sir. Question is not coming over the screen. Sir. You can go for A, B, C, or D. It's time. The right answer is groundwater extraction. Extraction cannot be a method of the conservation. We'll go to the next the question. I'll come back to CPC myself. You can pick your next question. Four, five, six, and seven. We are going for six. This is question number six. Be ready. Here comes your question. Which toxic compound is not found in U.S.? A is mercury, B is neon, C is cadmium, D is lead, which is not present in E-waste. You go for B. And you are perfectly right. There is a right answer. Congrats. The neon is not the element which is present in E-waste. I'll come back to Chennapatna. You can pick. One of the questions, four, five, or seven. Okay, then. Yeah, okay. Then I'll come back to Mysore, CPC Mysore. You can pick your next question. Back to CPC Mysore. Pick, you pick either four, five, or seven. One of the questions. You go for four. Be ready. Here is your question. Which of the following is not a potential adverse effect of global warming? A. More extreme weather pattern. B. Retreat of glaciers. C. An increase in UV radiation. D. Sea level rise. Which is not a potential adverse effect. You go for A. That's not the right answer. I request you to pick one more option. You are going for C and okay, okay, okay. Okay, they are going for C, fine. The C is the right answer. The UV radiation is a problem of the ozone layer depletion. That is not the problem of global warming. So global warming is not related to UV radiation. Now there are five and seven. Any of the politicians can pick up their question. It's free for all. Tipush Tipu Shahid has gone for question number five. Yes, be ready. Here comes your question. How are electronic items dangerous? Option one, they degrade over time, releasing cancer causing chemicals into air. B, lead and mercury in components can cause to catabolic changes in users. Three, they leach toxic metals in landfills and into groundwater. B, they create electromagnetic field that interfere with animal. You have to select the most appropriate one. In what way the electrons items are most dangerous? Any of the participants can answer. Yeah, that's an effect, but that, that is not the most dangerous effect. I pick, request you to pick one more choice.
Yes, the most dangerous one is sea. That is, they leach toxic metals in landfills and that get into groundwater, which in turn will be using later. In the main window, one more question is remaining. I will show that question. Any of the political can answer. Be ready. Here is your question. The major cause for land degradation in our country is the soil erosion, pollution of soil, water logging, none of the above. This is a general question on, so on land degradation. Anybody can answer? Yeah, you are you're exactly right. That is the right answer. The soil erosion is the major cause of land degradation. I have two more bonus questions. Anybody can answer? What is question number one? Be ready. Here comes the question. Carbon dioxide constitutes about 0.038% of the atmosphere. I said 0.038%. Is it by volume? Is it by weight? Is it by mass? Is it none of the above? These are the four answers. This 0 0.38, 0 0.038, is it by C. I'm sorry, that is not the right answer. You can try again. Yes, you're right. E is the right answer. It is 0 0.08 by volume. If it is by mass, it is it will be 0 0.058. So this is point it is by volume. And coming to the very last question. Be ready. Anybody can answer? Here is the question. The method of rainwater harvesting, which can be adopted by individual house owners, is it can is easier one, be fast. Construction of recharge trenches, channel, water bodies, rooftops. Yes, you're right. The rooftop rooftop rainwater reaching system is what we can use individually. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed the quiz. I thank all the participating teams for the active interest, for active participation. The comrades, you have attempted most of the questions and also rightly answered most of the questions. Congrats, well done. Thank you.